entertain talking sports. What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video. And in this video, I'm going to touch on a couple of topics of the day that came out about the New York Giants. Got a little bit of a later upload for you guys today, but I wanted to talk about the news that came out about O'Shane Zimenez, and more importantly, I really wanted to talk about what Jason Garrett had to say about the New York Giants struggling offense, obviously being that he's the new offensive coordinator for the New York Giants, and he's taking on his old team week five versus the Dallas Cowboys, but we'll start with O'Shane Zimenez. O'Shane Zimenez, of course, uh, third round pick in 2019 out of Old Dominion, the edge rusher that a lot of New York Giants fans had a lot of hope for a lot, you know. We thought that he was going to really take off this year, um, but I was always a little bit worried that we might have been overhyping him going into his sophomore season, much like we were overhyping Lorenzo Carter going into his in 2019. And Carter last year struggled a bit, especially early on in the season. And so far this year, Zimenez hasn't been on the stat sheet in terms of sacks. Yes, I know. I think he's got five pressures. He's got three QB hits. And he's only on the field, I think, for 41% of the snaps. And we thought we'd see more playing time from Zimenez. But Zimenez has not been that good. And he's a guy that I was really hoping would come onto the scene this year and display that we've got an edge rusher for the future. Right now, if you ask me, going into next offseason, the biggest need on this defense is to have an edge rusher because we don't have a number one edge rusher on this team. We just don't. Of course, we brought back Marcus Golden. He hasn't been on the field that much at all now with Zimenez going to IR, I would think that Marcus Golden should get some more snaps. Kyler Farrell's actually played pretty well the last two weeks, and Lorenzo Carter's been pretty good, but we definitely lack a supreme edge rusher, and Zimenez going down certainly does not help that. The New York Giants in next year's draft, I expect them to spend an early pick at that position if they don't try to address it in free agency, because right now, I don't see a, you know, a great edge rusher on this football team. And to win in, in the NFL, you have to be able to get after the quarterback. The Giants have been able to, you know, get pressure on the quarterback, mainly through coverage sacks, not by the doing of the edge rushers. But that's bad news with Jimenez going down and being put on the IR. Along with him, Peppers will not be playing in this contest. So the New York Giants defense is certainly banged up. And we'll have to wait and see how they all, how, you know, how they figure it out. But mainly what I wanted to talk about in this video was the New York Giants offense, which is, of course, led by Jason Garrett. And I'll pull up some of the quotes that he had to say about the team. Um, but the first thing I wanted to say is going into the year, I personally, for myself and for you guys that listen to me, I tried to temper expectations for this offense. Because when I looked at the New York Giants schedule, for one, I saw we were playing a bear of a schedule in terms of opposing defenses coming out of the gate with the Steelers, the Niners, the Rams. We were playing really, really, really good defenses to start the year. And I also recognized that the New York Giants offense was new and they didn't have a normal offseason to implement it, not just for Daniel Jones, but for all the players on the roster. And 60% of our offensive line was new. And it's a problem we have every single year, not to mention you were learning a completely new scheme for the offensive line. They went from more of a zone blocking approach to a power blocking approach, something that I worried about. There was a lot of change for this offense. And so far, you've seen the New York Giants struggle. As a matter of fact, it's the worst offense in the National Football League right now. We only have 18 points combined over our last two contests. And if you look at Daniel Jones' intended air yards, it really stands out. I looked it up on Next Gen Stats. Daniel Jones writes that right now ranks 29th in the league in intended air yards at the quarterback position. And this was an offense that I thought the New York Giants were going to look to air it out more this year. Being that you're bringing in Jason Garrett, the Eric Oriel offense, you expected to see deeper shots down the field like he did with Dallas when he was calling plays there. But for that to work, you need the offensive line to be able to hold up. And it was something that I was always worried about. Pat Shermer ran more of a West Coast style offense, which calls for quicker pass plays, shorter passing patterns, and getting the ball out fast. Well, so far, most of Daniel Jones' passes have been short. Mainly because I think that Jason Garrett doesn't feel like the New York Giants offensive line is ready to hold up and give Jones that extra second or two to take some more shots down the field. Last week, I think that we started to see steps in the right direction in the second half against the LA Rams, where the New York Giants started to get a push up front and started to develop that ground game. But until such time, Garrett feels confident in this offensive line, providing Daniel Jones with enough time to take shots down the field. Don't expect to see it. This week, I think you have a prime candidate. With as much as the Dallas Cowboys have struggled so far through the four, first four weeks on um, defense, I expect the New York Giants to try to draw up some plays to try to stretch out the defense. 
But before I continue, I kind of wanted to jump into the quotes of exactly what Jason Garrett had to say so far about the New York Giants offense in 2020. The first thing that Garrett went on to say when talking about the New York Giants offense was this. You certainly want to do the things that you're good at, Garrett said Thursday. And we're trying to discover what those things are. And as soon as I read that quote, I saw it all over Twitter. I saw a lot of the New York Giants beat reporters talking about it. As soon as I read that quote, I knew what the initial response was going to be. How do you not know what you're doing four weeks into the season? But when you step back and look at it, and you don't expect instant results, which you shouldn't have this season, it makes a lot of sense, not just for Garrett, but for the players learning the scheme. There was not a normal preseason. And I think Garrett is just telling you the truth. And it's what you should have expected going into the year. Maybe not this bad of an offense, but it was going to take time for this offense to gel. And they're still trying to find their way. He's still trying to learn the players, and the players are still trying to learn his scheme. But what then he really touched on was the offensive line. And at the end of the day, I think this is the biggest problem and why I think you will start to see this offense improve as the offensive line inevitably gets better over the course of the year. And last week, I think we started to see signs of that in terms of the run blocking department. This is what Garrett had to say. That's a big part of playing offensive football and scoring points, Garrett said. Being able to run the football, to control the line of scrimmage, to pass protect the way you need to, impacts your ability to throw the ball down the field. When asked about why he's not throwing the ball down the field a lot, and I obviously agree with that. When you could run the ball, you're more unpredictable. And to be able to take shots down the field, obviously you need to hold up blocks longer. Then he went on to say this. If you take those shots and you're not able to protect it the way you need to, a lot of bad things happen and you find yourself digging out of those drives. You have to be selective when you're kind of rebuilding with a team to find those spots. And basically what he's saying there is we'd love to be able to air the ball out a lot more than we have over the last four weeks. The problem is right now we're rebuilding. This team is learning the scheme and we don't feel comfortable to put Daniel Jones and this offense in those spots because it will probably more than likely result in turnovers. Oh, there you have it. Just want to get a quick video up on that, talking about some of the things that Jason Garrett had to say about this offense. And I think it makes way too much sense. It's what I've said all along, especially after the Week 3 matchup. Um, this New York Giants offensive line has to enable them to be able to run the offense that Garrett wants them to run. People are complaining about Garrett's play calling. People are complaining about Daniel Jones not taking shots down the field. And I don't want to say that it's all on the offensive line, but it's why I made the video that I did a week ago when I said that if this offensive line does not improve, you're not going to be able to see Jason Garrett institute his entire offense. And I think it will. I think the O-line will improve, but I think it's going to take you know, a, a month. That's what I thought. I thought four, five, six weeks before we really started to see them get into gear. And hopefully this week against the weaker defense, you start to see this offense build, you know, some consistency and some confidence. And you start to see them air the ball out down the field. And that should help in the running game. But none of this is going to take place. And the Giants are not going to be aggressive until such time they feel confident in these guys holding their blocks. And they haven't been able to do it, you know, the last couple of weeks. So as much as people want to just point the finger at Jason Garrett or just point the finger at Daniel Jones, you have to be able to hold up blocks for the New York Giants to take shots down the field. And I think as the course of the season wears along, you'll see them start to air it out more and more and more. And that is when we will get to truly evaluate not just Daniel Jones, but Jason Garrett and this offense. Right now, to me, the first four games were a preseason. The next four games, they're going to start to get more acclimated to one another, and they'll start to improve, or at least I hope they will. And the second half of the season, you should see a much different offense than what you saw over the first. But let's hope week five against the Dallas Cowboys, we start to see them get it into gear. As always, guys, if you like what you watch, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.